seems legit. Hello Legitimates and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd play with my infrared laser on the x machine and laser a bunch of my scissors. So I have done a bunch of very cool designs. This was my first one so it is a bit crooked because I didn't think. I lined it up with the top and not the actual scissors and they're on an angle so that didn't really work. Um, but if I, if I hide the swear word it does actually say stuff. I just thought it'd be funny to write that. Um, here's the non-swearing version. It's just got the little words up the top. Because I wasn't sure if I wanted it on this end or that end. So this time I did it at that end. Um, and then we get slightly more dramatic. So once I worked out that I could do it and it's all going to work well, I took my zigzag scissors and I have put on this kind of cool repeat design which looks really kind of cute from afar but if you get up close it's actually little tiny skulls so i thought that was a very very cool um and then just to try it i stopped the video drove all the way to spotlight and back bought myself some rainbow scissors and then did that cool repeat design on the rainbow scissors so i think they look very cool um but that's just me and then just you know, because I can. I also, because the infrared laser does plastic, I also put the little um, seagull from Finding Nemo that says mine, because they're my scissors, and I just thought that would be really, really cute. So if you want to see kind of the process of how I set this up, please stay tuned. So today we will need some scissors, or metal things to laser engrave. I'm going to use the infrared laser, but because it's stainless steel, I could have used both. So install it, turn your machine on, and then pick your first pair. Funnily enough, this is not actually the first pair I pick, but the red handles, but they are the same size. So I'm using a micrometer. This is just a Bunnings version to figure out exactly how much laser engravable space I have on the scissors. Um, so you will need to know these measurements to set it up correctly. Um, make sure you do both ends too, in case it's going to taper at one end. Um, so anyway, I did actually do the red ones first. These were tricky, so I've ended up grabbing some blue tack and some other scissors to make them sit flat. I'm sure there's a better way, but I'm impatient and I didn't think of it. I also frame the design a lot to make sure it's exactly where I want it. Um, I wasn't really thinking fully through this. So I lined it up with the top edge of the scissors, but because they're on an angle, what I should have done is angled them in the middle. So I know that for next time, but this was my first ever time lasering these things. So that's fine. Um, I've sped everything up today so that we can see a bunch of different stuff. And then I'm going to use some alcohol to wipe them off. Once I was confident that I did the first one, and yes, I probably should have practiced more, but I'm now like, right, let's do something dramatic. So I got a damask skull design off Google. Um, and then I just repeated it and lined it all up in Lightburn. Today I haven't actually recorded the screen, so sorry about that. Um, but I'll do it another time because I'm sure I'm going to end up doing more scissors for people. Um, so the only thing I didn't do here that I probably should have is optimize the cut design. So it would cut like a little laser a little bit and then it would move too far away. So it's not actually just going back and forth like the normal fills, it's jumping everywhere, which does actually make the laser take longer. So for that, I am annoyed. Uh, I also didn't fix it when we do the rainbow ones in a minute either. I just forgot about it temporarily. I was just more excited to be able to laser the scissors. So here we go again. I just had to change to a better angle with my camera. Um, I just left it going. You guys didn't miss much. So it's fine. And it's nearly finished here. You will need, in a perfect world, you'll need to get lint-free cloths. I was just using a baby wipe with alcohol. But because I've got this set to so deep, it does actually catch on the baby wipe. So something lint-free would be preferable. Um, but, I mean, you can do it. You've just then got to pluck off all the furry bits, which is annoying. Um, I've sent the laser home, so that's what it's doing right now. I always send it home after I finish. Um, so yeah, this is just baby wipe, some alcohol, and it rubs off all that kind of discoloration there. And makes the scissors look amazing. 
Not bad for my first repeat print on scissors. All right, let's do some rainbow ones. So I did the exact same print, but because the scissors were smaller, I actually messed around with the computer a bit and chopped off bits. So you'll see here as it was framing, it was getting shorter and shorter. I was cutting off the ends and I made the whole design like less high as well. So it wasn't just engraving nothing in air. Um, and it does, because the scissors are at an angle on the cut edge, it does actually be lighter on that angle. But I still wanted to laser engrave it because I thought it would look very, very cool. Um, with these scissors, in this particular part of the video, I only do the right-hand side of the hinge. I do actually go back later and do the other side. I was feeling quite bold. It worked out really, 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 really well. And I say that because it really did. Um, here, I decided just to try the plastic um, engraving. So all the speeds are on the website. I've just got them automatically like programmed in because it makes my life much, much easier. So I've renamed them all what they are and I can just click it and off we go. I tend to just use the settings that they have because they work for me. I know some people like to dial in their settings further, which I probably would have maybe made this a little bit darker. Uh, but I don't mind that it's quite light. I just thought it was really cute and kind of funny. It's about halfway. The laser is actually quite loud, which is why I'm doing the voiceover. The, the fan in the infrared is a lot louder than the fan in the diode laser. And it's not fun to just listen to as background noise in a video. So I wipe it off and you get to listen to my voice instead. You'll see in a minute, it'll start doing the bubble where it says mine at the same time. So this one I set up correctly where it's going to just do it line by line instead of jumping all over the spot. You'll see here I hit the wrong button, but that's okay. We're just going to pull it out and it's all done. Very cute. 